uh, the orientation, uh, you know, when, when the blackout took place, where it was headed, the lateral velocity, the downward velocity, which engines were firing, which were not, were there, was there some kind of mechanical malfunction or was everything perfect on board, was it some kind of extraneous factor? I think all these vagaries will have to be taken into account to reach some kind of coherent, conclusive result about what really happened to the Vikram lander. And until that happens, I think it's still going to be just that data is being analyzed. That's the last comment from ISRO on this. Shiv, before I bring in my other guests, uh, since you're on Ground Zero, is all hope lost or is there still hope that the orbiter may be able to maybe take a picture, give us some information, and maybe the lander communicates, or is that hope lost? Vikram will not communicate uh, with the orbiter. You know, Gaurav, you know, Gaurav, uh, the, 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 the possibilities or the probabilities suggest that, uh, that, uh, that that may not be the case and that there may not be any more communication or photographs from the Vikram lander. But as we've seen in the past, even with uh, space exploration and scientific uh, pursuit, never say never and it's definitely not over until it's over. Miraculous things have happened uh, in scientific pursuit. Uh, you know, things that were not expected at all, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, surprised scientists, uh, uh, you know, uh, machines or equipment uh, that was left for dead has come back to life many days later I am just saying that uh, you know let's not rule out any possibilities just yet we're definitely not the experts there is a building full of science uh, ex -scient scientists and uh, scientific experts and telemetric experts who will be I imagine still trying to raise some kind of signal out of uh, the Vikram lander right now they don't know if it's crash landed they don't know if it was a hard landing all of those are still variables right now so yes. whether all hope is lost for those 2.1 kilometers, I would say not just yet until we get a formal clarification, but the overall sense, seeing the circumstances, is that yes, those 2.1 kilometers after a stellarly successful mission, those 2.1 kilometers was not the outcome that ISRO was hoping for. Dr. Sandeep Bhattacharya, in your appreciation, is there hope that there can still be communication uh, with the Vikram lander or is that hope now lost? My hunch feeling is that hope is now lost. We should build upon uh, now, now over the post-mortem report what went wrong. India is still very new in space, ex space exploration and there are very many variables that are uh, beyond its control. Um, something somewhere uh, went wrong and we need a right kind of post-mortem report to get control over those variables and then build ourselves stronger and come up with a newer effort. Newer effort and Aksha, uh, the scientists may be a little disappointed, but the word that we are picking up is that so much was achieved in this journey. We are a very young spacefaring uh, nation, but as Shiv was mentioning, as Raj Chingapa was mentioning a short while back, GSLV Mark III, the Bahubali launch, that was successful. Uh, out of the 3.84 lakh kilometer journey, 3.82 lakh kilometer journey was also successful. So those with you and those you've been interacting with, are they disappointed or are they happy that we've achieved quite a bit and some more to achieve? Well, Gaurav, certainly the kind of night that was imagined by these space enthusiasts that I am with is not what has happened. They were really hoping that, you know, it would be a success story. It would be the first uh, ever mission where there would be a South Pole landing. But unfortunately, things haven't gone the way. But these enthusiasts are not disappointed. They're still hopeful. I have with me kids uh, from uh, the Space Kids India organization. So how do you feel? You know, it was a nail-biting situation. We had seen how you were all stressed.